England's overall economic data indicates strength and positivity, but there are areas that do not reflect this complexion. In fact, some areas in England are relatively and significantly poorer than cities in other parts of Europe. In this video, we will analyze the 10 poorest areas in England in descending order, focusing on neighborhoods with the biggest shortages of basic social infrastructure such as parks, playgrounds, public gardens, pubs, stores, and sports facilities. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated with our future videos. Blurton, located in Stoke-on-Trent City Council, is one of the poorest areas in England. Despite being part of a conservative and city-independent coalition, Blurton's statistics of deprivation have climbed up significantly. This area is among the highly deprived areas, and Stoke-on-Trent is ranked 16th most deprived out of 3,262 local authorities. King's Standing is located in North Birmingham and is another one of the 10 poorest areas in England. The rate of home ownership in King's Standing is way lower than the national average, indicating economic deprivation. This lower rate of home ownership has created a scarcity of accommodation, resulting in rent that is way beyond the national average. Halton, a local government district in the northwestern ceremonial county of Cheshire, is administered by a unitary authority. More than 25% of the neighborhoods in this borough are among the poorest 10% of the 32,845 neighborhoods assess. The health of residents of Holton is statistically worse than England's average health ranking. South Kirkby is a town in the city of Wakefield in West Yorkshire. Some of the areas of Wakefield District are home to poor people, and South Kirkby is one of these areas. People in this town are generally poorer, only getting by with the basics, as they cannot afford comforts and services generally at the fingertips of the English. South Elmsdale is a town and civil parish in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. The town hasn't really developed beyond the small farming settlement it used to be before and during the Industrial Revolution. There are not enough modern housing units to cater to the workforce, and the town struggled to improve its economic status between 2002 and 2007. Off the northern coast of Kent lies the Isle of Sheppey, one of the poorest areas in England. Sheerness, a coastal 0.3-mile stretch, is one of the most deprived areas of England, with a high number of children living in poverty. Hartcliffe, a council ward and an outer suburb of Bristol, is one of the poorest areas in England. The major problem of the people living in Hartcliffe is that they are earning a very low income, resulting in a lack of access to decent, affordable stores or green grocers where good quality fresh produce can be picked. Great Yarmouth is a seaside resort town in Norfolk, straddling the River Year. Unfortunately, it remains one of the poorest areas in England due to racism that has not been addressed, mass unemployment, and the usual attendant problems such as drug addiction and petty crime. Hartlepool, a large port town in northeastern County Durham, is one of the largest settlements and administrative centers of the larger borough of Hartlepool. Hartlepool's property ownership and rental statistics reveal a lower rate of home ownership than the national average, and the proportion of children in low-income households is way above the England average. Hartlepool is struggling in almost all measurements of economic well-being.
Jaywick, a coastal village located in the tendering district of Essex, is the poorest area in England. Once a popular holiday destination, it has now ranked as England's poorest area for two years in a row. A whopping 40% of residents of the Essex seaside village live on benefits, and the area has neglected houses, unpaved roads, and potholes. While the Essex Council has recently pumped some $8.8 million into improving the infrastructure in Jaywick, the impact has not been significant. These 10 areas in England are among the poorest, with fewer civic amenities and cultural assets per person. This results in physical and mental health issues, and poverty is widespread in these areas. While these areas are in need of government grants for community renewals, it is also important for the government to address the root causes of poverty in these areas.